Hello future developers, welcome to another tutorial. It's ABCD, future designers. Okay, so I'm going to do something. Today we'll be doing a bamboo B, but we'll be in series. Okay, so we'll be doing the background background. Okay, so I'm going to select um, A4 or a letter. Okay, then I'll click on let me select print and then select an A4 sheet. Click on create. Okay. So with this I'll just click on edit artboard. So that's the property. I'm going to click on edit artboard. Now change it into landscape. So yeah, landscape. Okay. okay, so I'm going to pick this color value for our background. So this is the color value. So the color code control C control F or you just copy, right click and then copy. And then you click on OK. And I'm going to go to my window. And then I'll have to select a rectangle, drag it across or drag it across the artboard. And then I'm going to give it this color value. Okay, so double click and control V to paste and then OK. Okay, so I have the color value. So I'm going to lock my background. So I click on the layers and then lock the background. Then now let's do this somewhat like a tree. So I'll select a rectangle, select a rectangle, draw, and click on properties, and then uh, I don't want the stroke, so I'm going to set my stroke to zero, and then I'm going to give it, so I'll click on the eyedropper, okay. so click on uh, this is the color value that I want, so i to double click, um, you don't have this, so uh, you just have to follow the color value, okay. so that's the color value. Then I'm going to click on the color palette, paste, click OK, and then it changes. Okay, so that said, I'm going to move it down to touch the edge. And Control C, Control C, Control F to copy and paste in front. Then I'm going to drag from the base to the top. Then with the help of the Alt key, I'm going to move both sides. So that's the right and left. With the help of the OS key. Okay, so the OS key um, resizes two sides. Okay. So Control C, Control F. I'm going to move this. And then with the help of the OS key, I'm going to make it, sorry, OS key, make it thin. Okay. I'm going to drag it down. Okay. Then I'll drag it up a bit. Okay. So dragging it up a bit and then Control C, Control F, and I'll rotate it. I'm going to have to rotate. So, oh, I didn't paste, so I have to rotate it, okay. So you can give it any angle of your choosing. I'm going to move it here. I think it's too long, so how to reduce it. Reduce it, reduce it, okay. Okay, so let me select all, Control C, Control G, to copy and group. Control C, Control F to copy and paste in front, and then I'm going to resize it. So with the help of the arrow key, I'll move them, and then I'll resize them. Okay, so that should be the background of our bamboo B or thinking B project. Then I'm going to do a cloud. So select a rectangle, then rounding it. Okay, so we're rounding it. So let's see, you want to create a shadow. So Control C, Control F, copy and paste in there. Control F. Then I'm going to move it a bit up. Now highlight the two of them. I'm going to minus front from the pathfinder. Now how to darken it a bit to give us a something like a shadow for the cloud. Okay, so this is going to be our cloud. Okay, so that's the color value for the shadow. There's the color value. I'm going to put this on top of it. Okay. And then let's do the um, the build up for the cloud. Okay, so click on the rectangle or the shape tool and then the help of the shift key, draw a perfect circle. 
drape f a circle and then control c control f and the position itself is uh, so this app so you can decide to do any position it anyway so it's your own kind of cloud of free to experiment okay so there's no error in this you just create your own cloud and copy and paste that control c control f copy and paste in front and then you move it to any side of your choosing so feel free to experiment with the positioning so that's it thank you for watching